did I decide to do a New Year's Eve medieval fantasy dress two weeks, a week and a half ahead of time? Maybe. I am using the Luthien cosplay pattern from Mood, link in the description. This pattern is free, but this costume is pretty heavy on fabric requirements and uses a lot of paper to print at home. I checked the sizing and I was across two different sizes. However, this pattern does include a lot of ease. The back piece is supposed to be laced, but I didn't want that, so I chose my pattern size based on the finished garment measurements and went down a couple of sizes. As I said, this pattern is huge and uses a lot of paper. Hercules was on hand to help though. I highlighted my cutting lines. Before cutting the pattern, I traced the bodice portions to use for a mock-up. I didn't need to mock up the entire dress since it's pretty wide in the hem, but I definitely wanted to be sure the bodice fit over my waist and hips without any closures. The mock-up looked good, enough room to get it on over my head, but not too much room. At this point, I decided to alter the neckline, so I drew on the mock-up and I will transfer that to the pattern. Mock-up is good, and now I'm going to go through on all of the pattern pieces and mark where I need the hem to be, because looking at it, I know it's too long, and so I went and got Chris to, I held the pattern up to me and had him mark kind of where it touched the top of my toes, or the bottom of my toes, and uh, yeah, I gotta take like four or five inches off, <laughs> so that's next. I used a lovely burnt orange colored linen for this gown. My original plan was to make this based on a pattern from House of the Dragon and I had some dark green kind of damask polyester tablecloths that I was going to use, but laying the pattern out on them, I didn't have enough fabric because the tablecloths were not wide enough to cut everything out the way it needed to be cut out without piecing and I just didn't feel like spending that much time because I started this a week and a half before I needed to wear it. Matching marks I pinned and sewed the front to the side fronts, the back to the side backs, and the side seams. dress is put together. I have not finished the seams yet. 
I am probably just going to zigzag them and be done with it. You could, of course, flat fell if that is what your jam is. <laughs> so to flat fell, you would cut one of the seams shorter or narrower and then fold the other side over that and encase that those raw edges and then and then sew it all by hand. I'm not going to do that. I don't have time. So I'm just going to zigzag those raw edges and then on the neckline I'm just going to do very narrow hem, probably a rolled hem, a real small one because I did cut the neckline a little wide because when I did my initial adjustment I wasn't thinking about seam allowance. Always think about seam allowance people. <laughs> Anyway, it's going to be fine. It's not going to be too wide. It's not going to fall off my shoulders or anything. But, so I'm just going to make that neckline hem pretty narrow. And so now the next step is sleeves. These sleeves are in three pieces. Oh, look. Facings for the neckline that I won't be using because I changed it. Changed the neckline. <laughs> All right. So the sleeves. We've got the side front sleeve, the side back sleeve, and the center sleeve. The center sleeve has lacing cord loops at each circle mark eight on each side, so each sleeve needs 16 loops. I transferred the loop marks to the sleeve pieces using a chalk pencil. I used piping cords to make my lacing loops and also for the lacing itself. The loops are pinned and basted in place before attaching the two side sleeves to the center sleeve. Please forgive the avalanche of fabric that Lucia started while attempting to sleep on my fabric shelf. After sewing the side sleeves to the center sleeve, the sleeve back seam is sewn. Now to pin and sew the sleeves into the arm size. With the sleeves in, all that's left is hemming, the neckline, sleeves, and hem. I did that by hand over Christmas while visiting my parents. My sister Rachel was working on her gown too, since these gowns were to be worn at her birthday party. She bought a pattern on Etsy that I will link below if you are interested in her dress. Kit Kat helped with my final try on and it was done. Rachel and I had a lot of fun taking photos together. 
I'm really happy with how this dress turned out. It's very comfortable and was pretty easy to put together. The lacing loops were the most tedious part and that wasn't too bad. If I had made lacing loops out of fabric, then it would definitely have been a lot more tedious, but that's why I didn't do it. <laughs> I thought I looked like Rachel's lady in waiting or something. <laughs> Do you have any medieval inspired costume plans in 2024? Let me know in the comments.